chasing this thing in a circle for like an hour now. When do you think we can get him back in a pen with a real steer? You know, I might do him some good with a change of scenery. You saying we're ready for the real deal? I'm not saying that I'd go enter a stampede anytime soon, but maybe a local jackpot? Yes. Hey, Ty. Hey, Georgie. Come by the house once you're done, OK? Yeah, I can do that. Um... Oh, shoot. Uh, I'm late, Georgie. I can't right now, OK? But you promised you'd help me look for some sanctuaries. Well, I can help you, Georgie. Um, actually, I think it would be better if Ty did it just because he works at the clinic. Hey, you know what? I'll, I'll talk to Scott for you, OK? Thanks, Ty. No problem. Peter, mm -hmm. you have to see this. Yeah. Look. The Starbright Academy. They have a preschool. Marnie is looking into it for her daughter. <laughs> they wear uniforms? I know. Aren't they adorable? Whoa. Is that the price? Okay. That is that is that, Honey, is that the tuition? They <laughs> yes. They offer an enriched education. It's preschool, sweetheart. What's wrong with the place down the street from Maggie's? At the community center? Honey, that is nothing but a glorified daycare. Starbright has an environment that fosters a thirst for knowledge. You memorized their mission statement. Can we please just go in for an assessment? An assessment? Yes. Really? They like to meet the parents and the child to get a sense of who we are. It's like a job interview. Sure. <laughs> sure. Yeah, I'd love to get a sense of who the hell they think they are. Great. I will book an appointment. Tim Fleming. Casey McMurtry? Uh, I, I, uh, wow, you, you haven't changed a bit <laughs> since the rodeo days. Uh, well, I can't say the same for you. Well, I try to, you know. Oh, <laughs> no, I'm sorry, that's not what I meant. It just looks like you cleaned up your act, that's all. Oh, yeah, yeah, well, I was a mess back then. Hey, I'm, I'm sorry to hear about Hank. Yeah, it's, uh, it's crazy to think it's been over five years now. Well, I've heard you've done a, a great job keeping the business running, just, you know, picking up where he left off, so. Thanks. Well, Hank would never forgive me if I didn't keep his rodeos up and running. Next up is this team roping jackpot here in Hudson. Travis Coleman, that's a blast from the past. <laughs> I know, well, that's the point. We're billing it as legends of the rodeo. It gives locals a chance to compete with their champions of yesteryear. <laughs> You've won a couple buckles. You should come on out. No. <laughs> No, I, I, no, I'm busy. I mean, I, I'm trying to get back into the rodeo, but I, I'm just I'm training horses. That's what I'm doing. Well, all the more reason to come on out. Show off your stock. Have a little fun. <laughs> I, I tell you, I'd love to beat Travis Coleman again. I don't know, Tim. He's been doing seniors rodeo, and you've been out of the game for a while. Which means I'm well rested. <laughs> Is that what it means? It's good to see you. Nice to see you. Let me know if you find a partner. Yeah, I will. I'll, I'll think about it. <laughs>